Uh, ever since the first moon missions in the 1960s, America has dominated outer space. That era, though, comes to a close with tomorrow's scheduled launch of the space shuttle Atlantis. CBS News aviation correspondent Bob Orr is at the Kennedy Space Center this morning for us with the very latest. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Well, as you say, this is the grand finale of a 30-year space odyssey that has kept the United States, as President John Kennedy once observed, the greatest spacefaring nation on Earth. But when Atlantis comes home, the shuttle program will be shut down. But the last act could be delayed. While Atlantis is ready to go on launch pad 39A, the weather is dicey. NASA says the chance of a Friday morning liftoff is no better than 30%. We still do have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere over the next few days, uh, so it's not uh, certainly clean and green. And lift off. Uh, Whenever Atlantis blasts off, it will be the 135th and final shuttle mission for a program that began in 1981. There have been stunning successes. The Hubble Space Telescope was carried into orbit by shuttle Discovery, and over the last 12 years, 36 shuttle missions have built and supplied the International Space Station. But the program has also been marked by twin tragedies, which killed 14 astronauts. Challenger in 1986, Columbia in 2003. Dual reminders that exploration is never free. In the history of this program, we've lost one going up and one coming down. And uh, it, is, uh, it is a tremendously risky endeavor. While the Columbia accident did not immediately end the space program, it exposed significant risks. And in 2004, the Bush administration ordered the eventual retirement of the aging shuttle fleet. Now, time is up. Atlantis will ferry 8,200 pounds of supplies and equipment to the space station to keep it going through 2012. Then, for the first time in 50 years, the U.S. will have no launch vehicle. And until a new one can be built, perhaps in five years, American astronauts will hitch rides from their former space rival on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. Right now, we are dependent upon Russia and I do find that unseemly for the United States. I find that unseemly in, in the extreme. The Obama administration insists the U.S. space program will go on, with astronauts using commercially built rockets to reach the space station, and ultimately a NASA-built spacecraft to go farther into deep space. So the launch of Atlantis, whenever it happens, will be bittersweet to be sure. A big celebration marked by big questions about what's ahead. Erica? Bob, thanks. Bob, we're at the Kennedy Space Center this morning.